All right, welcome to the Next Step Project House. Um, here we have our eight by 12 um, house that we're building. Um, and we're entering the first stage of framing and that's gonna be the mud sills. Um, so here we have our eight by 12 building laid out. We have our concrete foundation and we have our treated mud sills sitting on top. Uh, so a little introduction of what we're gonna be doing today. We're going to be um, marking out for our mud sills on our foundation using chalk lines. Um, then we're gonna be marking out the bolt locations for our sills. Um, then we're gonna be throwing the sills on the bolts um, and then fastening them down with our washers and nuts. Um, so when we're all finished, we'll have a nice um, platform for our floor framing project. The components that we have here is a treated board, usually a two by six. Um, we want it to be treated because it's sitting right on concrete. If we had regular white wood, um, any moisture or water that comes up through this concrete over time will rot out the board. Um, so we wanna make sure that we have treated lumber. Um, second thing we got here are our anchor bolts. Um, again, these are hot dipped galvanized because we're interacting with treated lumber. We don't want those to rot out. Um, and then finally, um, right under here, um, we have our sill sealer. Um, that's meant to keep any draft um, coming through from any irregular um, surfaces on the concrete. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cutting our sills to length, um, checking the foundation for square, marking the bolts, and then drilling the holes out so we can put the boards on. Um, and when we're finished, we'll have a perfect um, set of mud sills ready for our framing project. All right, to get started, we're gonna check this foundation for square, um, but let's just take a quick look of what we have here. So with any project, um, this is pretty typical of what you're gonna see you're gonna see a foundation with anchor bolts. Um, and just for this example, normally you would see all these um, cores filled up with concrete or a bond beam poured on top. Um, but for this example, we'll just have the anchor bolts um, poured. So if you have a foundation and nothing's filled in, you need to fill that in first. Um, so to get started, we're gonna check this uh, foundation for square. And the easiest way to do that is to measure your diagonals. Um, so Azad, you wanna take this end of the tape? And um, what we're gonna do um, with this is it's called something, or something called um, burning an inch. Um, so what Zod's gonna do on his end is hold right on one inch on that corner. And the reason why we do that is sometimes um, a corner of the foundation is chipped off or you just can't get hooked on real well over there. So he's gonna sight straight down um, this corner and hold it right at an inch. And then on this side, I'm going to take a very accurate measure, measurement. Um, Azad's holding very, very tight, and I want to take all of the bow out of this tape measure. Um, so it looks like we have a reading of 174 and 7 eighths. All right, and then we're going to go to this corner. Again, Azad's burning an inch. Got it? Good. All right, pulling tight. Yep. Looks like we got 175. So that's pretty close. We got a difference of an eighth inch, 3 16 eighth inch or so. Um, you don't want to be any more than that um, or your foundation isn't going to be square. The more accurate you are here, um, the better your project's going to come out. Um, all right, so we then need to lay out for our sill plate. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna inset that sill plate, um, the thickness of the sheathing, the wall sheathing that we're gonna use. Um, that way our siding can start on the foundation and then work its way up, making a nice clean uh, watertight joint. Um, so what we're gonna do, our sheathing is 7 16 So I'm gonna come in here, um, 7 16 of an inch, make a mark. Zod's gonna do 7 16 down on that end. And then we're gonna take a chalk line. Holding tight on this end, AJ is gonna pull tight there and snap a line. Perfect. Now we have a perfectly straight line here um, that we can use as a reference for our sill plate. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that on all four sides. 
So Zod will do seven sixteenths down there. I'll do seven sixteenths down here. Good. Perfect. So now we have a whole perimeter that we're going to use um, as a guideline to lay down our mud sill. Um, one really good um, trick or technique to do is to check for square one more time, just in case you accidentally mark 9 sixteenths on one side. Um, if you catch it here, you can re-snap lines. If you put your mud sills down, then you're going to have issues later. So let's check for square one more time. And this time we're checking the chalk lines instead of the concrete itself. So as that's burning an inch, I'm pulling tight. We got 173 and 5 eighths. Let's change corners. Good. At 173 and 3 quarters. So we still got that eighth. Looks like we're doing good. <laughs> 